Mr. Madoff, what do you say? His name synonymous with fraud. Financial reports when investors began losing confidence and competitors closed in. WorldCom may declare bankruptcy tonight. The company's board of directors has been meeting all day. It would be the biggest bankruptcy filing in history. I simply do not know where the money is or why the accounts have not been reconciled today. With the fall of FTX, Elizabeth Holmes' conviction, and the widespread disapproval of everything NFT, all of these things happened within a month of each other. Once again, financial fraud is a big story, and it should be, because it hurts your future finances. Identity theft, wire fraud, investment scams, and pump-and-dump schemes are all real. There have never been more Ponzi schemes, phishing attacks, and high-tech hacks. Broadcasting to Americans will cost a total of $5.8 billion in 2021, and most experts think that amount will be even higher this year. It's easy to forget about these stories because the people who got caught up in them were often pretty dumb and didn't know much about money. Hello there! It's nice to see you back here at Market Empire. Anyone who has used the internet during the past two decades should be aware that you should never send money to a Nigerian princess with a Yahoo email address or to business leaders playing League of Legends during an investor conference. You may erroneously conclude that the growth in fraud is of no importance to you because it's mostly common sense information. $5.8 billion sounds like much money until you realize that it only amounts to only $17.50 each for each American for the full year. It is difficult to believe that such a modest expenditure could negatively impact young Americans' financial futures, but it does. Even if you don't believe you're stupid enough to fall victim to these games, it's time to find out how many stories of fraud you need to start telling. Fraud can be defined as the dishonest or illegal deceit of a person or entity with the intention of obtaining some form of financial or personal gain. Because fraud can have such a broad definition, and because there is so much money to be earned from it, it should be no surprise that it can take many forms. Theranos, FTX, and this 100 million invoice scheme stole money from the internet giants Google and Facebook over the course of two years by hacking into their email servers. On the other end of the spectrum is an IRS agent who asks for payment in the form of iTunes gift cards for unpaid taxes. The introduction of new technology is also an important factor in this pattern. Technology advancements like the ubiquitous use of internet for things like online payments, storing sensitive files and of course cryptocurrencies have made fraud more profitable and harder to track than ever before. While fraud certainly existed before the widespread adoption of these technologies, its scope was limited because the perpetrator had to be there in person, which increases the likelihood that they would be caught. Everyone from the most financially secure corporations to the most fragile seniors is a potential victim of one of today's many schemes, scams, or frauds. The $5.8 billion lost by Americans due to fraud didn't reflect losses in a few key areas. According to Bloomberg and June analysis, the NFT market peaked at roughly $17 billion. Since then, its value has dropped by more than 97% to less than $500 million. Many inexperienced investors jumped into this industry after being assured by experts that investing in monkey JPEGs would guarantee financial success. As a result of convincing gullible people to invest in NFTs, many of these experts reaped financial rewards. Since they didn't legally lie about what they were selling, the FTC doesn't account for the loss incurred when these people sell these assets directly using their holdings. Even those who have staged conventional pump-and-dump scams with NFT or cryptocurrency have largely avoided conviction up to this point. More than $2 trillion in value has been lost in the cryptocurrency market over the past year. Much of this loss may be attributed to the promotion of these investments in ways that would never be tolerated if these assets were controlled securities like bonds and stocks. Including these fraudulent activities would increase the total by several hundred dollars for each American. Some have lost everything to such scams, while others may have thought a 401k was safer after hearing about the 15-coin rug pull in a row. We are all paying the price for fraud. And all of you are listening and feeling great at the expense of people who got conned into these frauds. 
The FTX only counts the $5.8 billion in claimed fraud if it can independently confirm and legally enforce the crime. While many fraud cases are documented, many more go unreported because victims are embarrassed to admit they were duped. However, the additional safeguards necessary to prevent fraud come at a much higher price for society as a whole. Money transfer fees and application processing times for loans might be weeks long due to fraud. In part due to fraudulent activity, insurance and rental fees are artificially inflated. When dealing with you, a bank must assume that you are either a fraudster or a prospective victim of fraud since they are required by law to have mechanisms in place to protect their clients from fraud. According to the Government Transparency Office, American banks spend between 0.4% and 2.4% of their annual operating costs on anti-money trafficking and bank secrecy regulations. Although $15 per new account may not seem like much, some banks handle over 100 million accounts, the expense adds up quickly. Expenses like these aren't the only source of the problem. Banks have been penalized hundreds of millions of dollars for assisting fraud. And to try to avoid these fines and the damage they bring to their reputations, most institutions employ vast teams to watch all of their customers for anything suspicious actively. Consumers ultimately foot the bill for due diligence designed to root out fraud and other criminal activity. So let's examine a more immediate way in which fraud has jeopardized your financial security. Over the past two decades, student loan debt has skyrocketed. But fraud has played a significant role in ensuring that graduates carry more debt into their professional lives than their parents did when they bought their homes. People benefited from the fact that before 1979, one could treat student loans like any other form of personal debt and discharge them through bankruptcy by obtaining higher degrees and then immediately declaring bankruptcy. There are drawbacks for filing for bankruptcy, but for many young people, the strain was minimal compared to the burden of paying off their debt. Section 523 of the United States Bankruptcy Code was enacted to close this loophole making it nearly impossible to get rid of federal or private student debts under any circumstances other than extreme hardship such as terminal illness. Since then, the law has been amended five times. The most recent change in 2005 made it possible for students who violate the terms of their scholarships to have the award converted into a debt for which they are legally responsible. The education sector benefited greatly from this legislation. Because with this new ultra-safe lending instrument in hand, loan providers could confidently extend credit to borrowers regardless of their employment prospects or financial standing. Tuition has skyrocketed along with the number of new student loans, making it extremely difficult to finance a college education without the help of one's parents, a scholarship, or a sizable loan. What began as a completely sensible solution to close a loophole that a few people were exploiting by illegally filing bankruptcy has ballooned into a multi-trillion dollar industry that is robbing many young men and women of their financial future. Crypto guys who lose money on investments that seem ridiculous in retrospect are easy fodder for jokes. It's easy to fool yourself into thinking you're too smart to fall for the common scams that show up in your inbox and the comment section of online videos. However, keep in mind that our systems are designed to be foolproof and that this comes at your expense when you're unable to obtain a loan, start a business, or go to college without incurring massive amounts of debt. Perhaps a degree isn't worth the cost at all. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to hit that like button. Share this video and subscribe to the channel.